Yo, what's going on, guys? And we're hearing that the Dallas Mavericks have interest in Bruce Brown. And that's just something that has got me interested in talks with guys that I know. It's an interesting deal because we're hearing that Grant Williams might be available. And you're thinking, well, they just signed Grant Williams. Yeah, but the thing is, is Grant Williams, as great as he is, Derek Jones Jr. was signed to be Grant Williams' backup. But it's kind of gone the other way around. Derek Jones has exceeded expectations. And we're seeing that... They're a really big fan of his, and Grant's kind of been Derek's backup. So they're looking to see if they could flip Grant Williams' contract into something, like I said, a Bruce Brown. And we know any Bruce Brown deal is going to start with a first-round pick compensation, but I think Grant Williams is a contract that the it fits what the Raptors are doing with this like big old lineup. So what we're hearing from oh, my boy, my co-worker, Michael Scotto, is that Bruce Brown behind... You know, DeJounte Murray is one of the bigger names on the trade market, and we all know that the Lakers and Knicks have interest in him. But the other team that we've heard is the Dallas Mavericks. They had considered going after him in free agent, see, with the money that they had available. But they got Grant Williams, and they're looking to upgrade at the three and four while turning down requests for Bruce, I mean, Derek Lively. So what would a Bruce Brown trade look like? Now, I agree. That's where it gets a little difficult. But they do have the finances. They don't have to trade Grant Williams, okay? But they could. I think the deal would be easier. Because the easiest deal would be Rashawn Holmes and Maxi Kleba with a pick. But, you know, that's probably not going to entice them enough. So what my coworker, what we've heard is, I, I don't, like, look, everyone's going to look for the cheapest deal possible while the other, other teams are always going to look like to maximize their asset. And I think the most interesting part about this is that Grant Williams makes 12. So you could package Grant Williams with, and you need 22 to take on. So when I look at this, I think that maybe if you look at how they're lining up the contracts for Grant Williams with salary filler, you could really, the easiest deal where you give up the least amount of picks would probably be Grant Williams with, oof, that's where it gets difficult. You could do Grant Williams and Maxi Kleba, maybe Josh Green, but I feel like you're giving up too much. The easiest deal, you'll have to give up picks, Kleba and Holmes for Brown, and you got to put a pick in there, maybe a couple seconds. But I feel like that's the that's the if I'm if I'm the Mavs, you got to do this. Like this team is eerily reminiscent to that 2011 team, that and with how much parity there is in the NBA this season, Dallas is really geared to go for a run. So if I were them. I'd be definitely interested in seeing how I could potentially parlay the assets that I have right now into a deal. But I want to hear your thoughts. Dallas Mavericks. I think they're definitely an interesting team as I think they're, they do need to. So Grant Williams is cool and all, but Mr. Derek Jones kind of took his offensive production and is like giving them what they need. And I talked about this in a deal that you could go out. I forgot who we talked about on the NBA show this morning. A few guys that we thought were good fits for the doubt. I mean, obviously a Kyle Kuzma would be great, but I think he might be too expensive for them to go out and get. But, you know, obviously last year they wanted Boyan Bogdanovich, Pascal Siakam. Supposedly Kyle Kuzma, Jeremy Grant are guys they're keeping. Now the idea of Grant Williams, Jaden Hardy, and Josh Green in a draft competition is the best deal that they can get they are supposedly getting calls for Derek lively but dallas is told that he's untouchable and dallas hasn't been a healthy team and we'll use the next few weeks to address that and see which players could be moved or not but i think definitely when you look at this situation it's a team that they want a forward i think you know another guy that they could get really cheap he's been playing better now but john collins rashawn holmes with maxi cleveland rashawn holmes with Mm, that's where it gets home that's where it gets hard because i think tim hardaway's playing too good to move him so that that's my thought definitely there that where it becomes a bit harder but i want to hear your guys' thoughts there that's what we're hearing from dallas 